busy time at the North Inlet when Yabei near. Students come from universities all over the country to work in the field and lab. They gather data, learn new skills, and gain research experience in the estuary. Let's meet some of the student researchers from this summer. Hopper. I'm a rising second year PhD student in chemistry at the University of South Carolina. And so let's start on the left. This is a pitcher of sweet tea, right? So <laughs> unsweet? It looks like sweet tea. You know, we're in the South, so we, we only recognize sweet tea, not unsweet tea. That's right. Um, but this is actually a container of water from one of our on campus locations, um, Strawberry Swamp. And it looks like sweet tea because there's a lot of chromophoric or colored dissolved organic matter within the sample. Okay, so a lot of my samples, this is actually the darkest one, so a lot of them mm -hmm. have a range from a light tan to this dark brown color you see here. Some of the waters that we have here are coming from parts of North Carolina, flowing through South Carolina and all the way down here, and they're gonna go to the Atlantic Ocean. And so we want to see what the source of this water is and characterize it. I'm Nadia Gutierrez. Um, I'm working with the, the North Inlet Winya Bay Research Reserve, um, doing research on small body crabs in the salt marsh ecosystems. So we have pitfall traps, which are essentially just empty tennis ball cans that we fill with rocks and put it in. We dig a hole and put it into its level with the ground um, and then the crabs will essentially fall in the traps um, and then we'll collect them 24 hours later. Questions. So we are really looking to see um, if monthly sampling is effective as well as if these pitfall traps are effective but the bigger picture is just to get a fuller understanding of the role in, of the salt marsh crab in the ecosystem. Uh, my name is Kamari Void. I will be a junior in this fall and I'm studying environmental science. Yeah, so we were digging up tea bags. Right now I'm doing a decompositional study uh, within the marsh utilizing the tea bag index, which is basically the standardized way using tea bags, commercial tea bags, that allows for scientists across the country and across the globe to have the same sort of organic matter regardless of whatever environment they're in. So in the marsh, we have three different transects. And within those three, we deploy tea bags in the high marsh, the mid marsh, and the low marsh. This is from the high marsh. There's also 14 different bags here. And so throughout the 90 days, we'll come out and extract certain tea bags and we'll weigh them and process them to see how much is decomposed. Do you drink tea? I do. I love tea. <laughs> What's your favorite way to drink tea? Uh, I usually just drink black tea in the morning and at night some herbal tea like chamomile. So this is the perfect research project for 100%. you. 100%. <laughs> perfect. My name is Maggie Felton. I'm the North Inlet Winyer Bay National Estuary and Research Reserve Oyster Reef Ecology Intern. semi-harvested, but the, the two main ones that we're focused on, 60 Bass and North Boundary, um, one of them is harvested, one's not. So we're kind of comparing the difference in the community structure on oyster reefs between harvested and non-harvested reefs. And then take them back to the lab and process them, see what all we can find, rinse all the shells off, and yeah, collect all the animals, and then, um, well, weigh them, uh, determine the sex, species, yeah, see what we find. So being able to set up a long-term monitoring um, system for the health of the oyster reefs in the reserve is really important. Mm -hmm.